Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be seeing a review of a few base products from Too Faced. So Too Faced has recently launched in India a month back, I think a month ago in Nykaa.com and I've been dying to test their foundations and concealers especially because everybody around the globe have been raving about it. It's one of the makeup artist's favorite product and finally it's here in India now and yeah, I finally got my hands on a few products. So, without any further delay, let's get into the video. Now, let's start with all the Too Faced products that I've got. So, I've got some products with me. They are mostly like a base products. The only extra product I've got is the mascara, which I just got as a complimentary. Like, I didn't buy it, but I just got it as a complimentary. And I've got the concealers, the foundation, the hangover face primer, the hangover setting spray. So, without any further delay, let's dive into the review of these products. So first I'm going to be trying the face primer from Hangover X. So this primer also has coconut water in it and it also states to make our skin 100% smoother, 100% more radiant and 100% hydrated. Let's see how it works. So it comes in a really really cute pink packaging. And this is how it looks in the inside. So I'm just taking like one and a half pumps. Okay, it does has like a strong coconut fragrance to it. So let's see how it goes on my skin. It is a strong cream based primer, like it doesn't feel silicone or gel like. It is a proper cream based primer. It is super hydrating and it has a really strong coconut fragrance to it. Like, yeah. So before applying this, I have moisturized my face and I have applied the primer on top of a moisturizer. So the biggest mistake we all make is directly apply a foundation or a primer before moisturizing the skin, which is totally, totally bad. Please moisturize your skin, give it the hydration it needs before you start with your makeup. Okay, so it has already dried down. My face really feels tacky and nice and I think it's all ready for the base. And before we start that, let me put my hair back. Next, I'm going to be using the foundation. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. It also states to be hydrating, long wearing, photo friendly and non comedogenic Let's see. This also has coconut water, alpine rose and hyaluronic acid. So, and I'm in the shade Warm Beige. So let's see how this works. So this is how the packaging looks like. It is a glass packaging which has like this frosted, I think that's what it's called as this frosted glass bottle, white frosted glass bottle. But before moving on to the foundation, I'm going to be doing a bit of color correcting on my skin. So I have color corrected my face right now and I'm going to be using this foundation now. So, I'm going to be taking a pump. So, the foundation is quite runny. Let's see how it applies. So, one pump gives quite a good amount of foundation and I think it's completely enough for my entire face and neck. I'm going to be using my beauty blender today. So in case you're wondering how did I find my shade online, I kind of went through a few references of all the beauty bloggers who had like similar skin tone of mine. So mine is actually NC40 in MAC. So I kind of went through uh, bloggers who had, you know, NC40 as their um, shade and then I you know, compared what is their shade to Too Faced. And um, the thing was that when I wanted this foundation so badly, it was completely sold out. And my friend Pratiti, who works in Bangalore Nykaa store, was so sweet enough to send this product and, you know, she did swatch the product and helped me find out the shade even more and I was like super confident that okay this is my shade and she was super sweet enough to courier it and that's how I got the product because it was completely sold out in the e-commerce site so 
that's how I got access to this. Ever since this product was about to launch, I was super excited that I have to try this no matter what. But then it was completely sold out by the time I came back from my vacation. So it got launched when I was on the vacation. And in just four or five days, when I came back, it was completely sold out. Like all the shade ranges which I could possibly match, everything was like out of stock. And I was super upset actually because I so badly wanted to try this foundation for the longest time. Because I've been hearing all the good stuff about this, how great the foundation was and stuff. But yeah, thanks to Pretty that, you know, finally I got to try this. So I'm very happy with the shade match. So it matches my face and my neck, which is great. So the foundation is like super light. I wouldn't like and um, I mean, since I used a beauty blender, I wouldn't say that it gave me a full coverage. Instead, it gave me like a medium coverage. But I've also heard that the coverage is buildable. So let's try out. I'm going to be taking like half a pump more. And I'm just going to apply in the areas where I feel like I need a little more coverage. Let's see how it works. So I feel that this will work better when you apply with a brush because with the brush you always get a better coverage because the beauty blender always tends to like you know absorb some of the product sorry about the dogs backing in the back guys i really don't know what to do like ever since i tried to sit for filming this is what happens and i'm like okay i'm done so today i'm like okay i am filming this no matter what okay so it does give a very beautiful coverage like my skin looks a lot better Yeah, I'm really liking the coverage so far. Next, let's move on to the concealer. So I've got two shades for me today. So one is like my skin shade and the other one is a highlighting shade for me. So I've got the shade Golden, which is which I hope matches my skin tone. And I've gotten Golden Beige, which is a lighter, lighter shade for me. And it's going to help me highlight my face. Let's see how it goes. So I've also heard very good things about this concealer. Every makeup artist around the globe has been raving a lot about this. Also with the packaging, this also is similar to that of the foundation. This also has coconut water, alpine rose and hyaluronic acid. And it also, and it also states that it's hydrating, long wearing, photo friendly and non-comedogenic. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so this comes with a doe foot applicator, like a really huge one. For concealer, I like using a brush than a beauty blender. Because you conceal the areas of your face where you need extra coverage and sometimes the beauty blender just takes away all the product. The concealer glides on really smooth and it's not patchy or anything or it's not difficult to blend at all. It blends like butter. Now I'm going on top with a beauty blender to remove all the excess products that have been placed on my skin. So that way your foundation or your concealer will not apply cakey. It's just going to remove all the excess product that's there on my face. The coverage is just wow. It is super full coverage. Next, I'm going to be highlighting using the shade Golden Beige. Let's see how it goes. Well, I'm quite happy with this shade itself. But let's try with the highlighted shade as well. Now, since this is a highlighting shade, I'm using a beauty blender because I don't want like super thick coverage for the highlighted areas as well. That's why I'm using a beauty blender. But for areas where I have pigmentation or other issues where I really want to conceal, then I prefer using the brush. Um, so now I'm going to be setting my face with a loose powder. I don't get the loose powder that was available in Too Faced, so I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powder. Okay, so now I'm going to be doing the rest of my face and I'll be back after. I'm back after doing my eyes and also I've applied some lipstick. So 
Now I'm going to be trying the Damn Girl Mascara, which I did get as a compliment. Wow. Look at this cute thing. Oh my god, it, it surely is super, super cute. I really love the packaging. Okay, the applicator looks like this. Can you see a difference? Okay, this mascara is definitely not for the lower lid. I'm gonna be having mascara all over the place, I guess, if I'm gonna do it on my lower lids now. It is good, but although I'm not like super impressed with the mascara, not a fan of, you know, mascaras that kind of makes your lashes really clumpy and, you know, like a spiral-like basically. So, yeah, I'm really not a big fan of this, but it is a good mascara if you have, if you are a fan of like, you know, really fluttery, spidery type of lashes, then yeah, you will definitely like it. But this is not for me. I would always prefer or go back to the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. It's always been my favorite. So now let's move on to the last product. This is the Hangover 3-in-1 Setting Spray, which is silicone free, alcohol free and also oil free. Let's see. This is super cute. The packaging is like super cute. It's like pink and white. This also has coconut water. So this is a 3-in-1 product where you can use it to prime, set and also refresh your skin. So Shake well, hold the bottle 6 to 8 inches away from your face and mist directly on the skin. Let's see. It is definitely refreshing. Oh my god, the coconut fragrance and it is definitely refreshing. Let me wait for the spray to dry and... So... I'm doing this just to push all the setting spray into my foundation so that if you have some cakey areas of your face where you have dry patches or something, this will help you to, you know, set it down. Yeah, that's it. My base definitely looks a lot, lot hydrated and glowing. So I would also like to, you know, give you guys an up close look of how my foundation looks. So this is how it looks up close. Foundation and the concealer. It's not like full coverage or it's not like you know too much on the skin. It's like very light. It's not feeling like you know it's, it's gonna dry out your skin or anything. It feels super good so far. So now let me come to which was my favorite products out of these five different products that I tried today. So I really like the foundation so far. It was the best. And also the concealer. I've also like found that the minimum you use is what you actually require. You don't have to like you know apply a lot of concealer because that's gonna look really cakey and it will also make your face look cakey. So all these products are available on Nykaa.com. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like the video, comment and also share it with your friends if you find it useful. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.